This is Glenn from Keller Williams and Hans Bay. It's my pleasure to introduce you to this family home in De Caldas in Ingang Street. It's the driveway and uh, there's a beautiful little succulent garden, very neat and low maintenance leading to the entrance of the house. As you walk into the front door, you walk into an open plan kitchen, lounge, dining room area. Directly behind me now, or on the right hand side, there's a little small reading nook which gets loads of sun in the mornings. That's the kitchen and there's a laundry and scullery area off of the back of the kitchen through that door. On the left you'll see the one corridor. There's another corridor which runs at right angles to that one at the end of it. In the scullery and laundry area, everything, all of the cupboards on the right hand side are loose standing cupboards so they can be removed and there'll be plenty of space for washing machines and tumble dryers. Walking back out again through the kitchen, down through the corridor to the first bedroom on the left hand side. The bedrooms in this house, as you can see, are all really large. This guest bedroom doesn't have built-in cupboards. Directly across the corridor from this bedroom is the guest bathroom. It has a toilet, a basin and a bath. No shower in this bathroom. Walking out of the bathroom, turning right down the corridor again, and the next room on the right-hand side is the office. All of these built-in cupboards will remain. Turning out again to the end of the corridor, there's another corridor which runs at right angles to this one. To the left is the main bedroom. To the right is the corridor leading off to the other bedroom, another bedroom, as well as the steps to the upper level. This is now the main bedroom suite, loads of built-in cupboards in a really large room. The ensuite corridor is on the left of those built-in cupboards. Walking down the little ensuite corridor now, you can see some more linen cupboards on the right hand side, through to a really lovely main ensuite bathroom, which is a full bathroom, which has a bath, a basin, a shower and a toilet. Back out of the main bedroom, down the corridor towards another guest bedroom. This bedroom has been repurposed and has been used at the moment as a large laundry room. There's also a separate little drywall room, which is that room there that's been built within this bedroom, which was used as, as a, for, for developing photographs as a hobby room. That little drywall room can fairly easily be removed. Walking up the stairway now to the upper level. There's a lovely formal lounge that greets you at the top of the stairs. Leading off of this formal lounge is a small balcony with some really stunning views. And then back through the formal lounge, down the little corridor to the fourth bedroom. There's some more linen cupboards on the left hand side on this little walkway before you enter the fourth bedroom. This bedroom again, as you can see, is a really well sized bedroom with lots of built in cupboards. And it also has an ensuite, its own ensuite, which is also a full bathroom bath, basin, shower and toilet.
walking back out of the fourth bedroom now, down the corridor. We're going to take a quick look a little bit further at outside of the house. This is down the driveway to where the garages are. As you can see, there's a really large garage which has been built. It's actually the size of three garages, but it has two doors. This is the back door leading off of the scullery and laundry area. Very low maintenance, as you can see. Please give Estelle a call if you'd like further information. Thank you.